hey guys and welcome back to our channel we are back with another recap and review of the challenge 38 and i just have to say i have totally switched sides everything i said before this throw it away i am with the vets now i'm all about the vets because they're the only people that seem to have sense duh <laughs> I told you that yeah like i said uh earlier well i mean the rookie vet sense i'm just talking about Two, two, in, two people in particular just <laughs> lost their minds this episode. <laughs> yeah, the politics this episode did not make math. It did not make sense. And the math wasn't mathing. But let, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay. So we are coming back from last week's episode. Colleen and Kim, they have survived another elimination. They are back. Um, but they realize that they need to start winning because if they don't win, they're going to get thrown in every time because nobody is really here uh, like that has their back. Um, and also we see, uh, <laughs> we see, uh, Darrell and, uh, Veronica kind of realizing similar things that they're not at the top of anybody's totem pole as far as the vets and they are not a rookie. So they're not in with that, um, alliance either. So it's just like different teams realizing that they need to kind of step the game up or realize a different strategy. With that said, I feel like in order for you not to... I mean, this episode they did a little bit better, but I just feel like Colleen and Kim wasn't really trying to be safe at the same time. Like they, they knew they, they knew they had to like be win, or they knew they had to win. Yet, I don't think they was doing any like politicking or making bills or having conversations as that is important in this house. Apparently, is to have a conversation and let people know where you lay. Um, so yeah. They'd be kind I don't of think afraid. they want to stay, honestly. I think they'd be too afraid to make a move. I think that, like, rookies, they kind of don't know what's a good move, what type of conversations you should have. Like, I feel like they'd be so afraid to have game conversations that they just assume that just like a regular conversation of, oh, you know, we're in the pool, we're relaxing. They consider that, oh, you know, they'll look out for me. They won't throw me in. No, that's not. But we learned in this episode that best don't even know how to have a conversation, apparently. So, no. <laughs> yeah, I just, I was so frustrated. This, like, the first half, I was like, all right, this might be a good episode. Second half, I was like screaming at the TV. <laughs> I knew, I'm going to just preface this. I knew it was going to be some bull when they, when they started, when it was a J episode, I already knew it was going to be some bull. I just, I just. <laughs> as soon as, as soon as the episode was about J, I was like, yep, it's going to be some bull. Yeah, I just, yeah. Oh, I just be having hope, but we, we'll get into it. <laughs> so we, they have a like, uh, they have a email party, which I really like. That was a nice little segment. Um, and Jay and uh, Jack, we get to see kind of how close they are. They have a really good friendship. And when the episode started highlighting this friendship, I was like, oh, yeah, we're about to break up somebody's friendship. Okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> I get it. moment Jack had a confessional, I was like, okay, I see what this is. And I do want to say during the challenge, the same day as the challenge, I watch Amazing Race and Amazing Race has so many teams as well. And they do not give away the storyline, like who's going to win. You know what I mean? So yeah. there is a way to do this without telling us what's going to happen. And Amazing Race, I'm watching it. I don't know who's going to win. Michelle's sitting there in this whole paranoia state because we see her having a conversation with Anissa. I told you. Um, yeah, I told you. <laughs> No, it wasn't Anissa. It was a conversation with Amber B about um, this paranoia that she has. Laura. Laura. Like, of yeah, all the players, <laughs> yes, yeah, all the like players Laurel has it out for her. She picked Laurel. If, if Laurel had it out for her, I really believe that production or the cameras would have picked up something. You know what I mean? They would have had yeah. Laurel talking to somebody like, "I don't trust that Michelle." And Laurel don't, don't purposely don't hate Laurel. people, bro. You yeah. said what? Laurel has never purposely hated people. Yeah, like, so, and I feel like Laurel's very straightforward. She would have said exactly her, her the, the villain art didn't start until everybody started hating her because yeah. she kept winning. You know yeah. what? I'm gonna be honest. Michelle is the new Robin. That's what she. Oh, wait. <laughs> she's the new uh, because like she's said, just like Robin. You play the game, paranoid all the time, thinking everybody is against you, and you got everybody looking at you like you're crazy. And then the second you get some power, you do dumb stuff have the email party jay and jack they uh sing the song that they made uh with bananas um so bananas does be interacting with them so like they're they're cool at least in the house um um 
And so we get to see that they are real friends. And then we have Jack saying like, Jay is his boy. Like he is like, he hopes he win or Jay win because he knows Jay will save him. And I was like, oh baby, I know. <laughs> I, yo, I be dashed. I it's <laughs> so, so terrible. And but so, the thing that um, I hate, uh, sorry, yeah. to cut you off. The thing that I hate with that whole thing is one like we already said the predictability when people start going into like their life story and then two the fact that people be like oh this is my friend i let my guard down you met this dude two days ago like can i let me okay um i think what we were watching was jack realizing he was on the challenge this challenge was called the royal relay um and uh so basically with the challenge um um, each team had to collect four pieces to a crown and bring them back and put the pieces together. And that is the winner. It is played in two heats. And so with the first heat, um, I thought they had a good selection of people. They had like really big heavy hitters in the first heat. Um, and right off the bat, we see Jay and Michelle pull out like right in the front because they are both really good swimmers. It seems uh, from Survivor, you kind of really do need to know how to swim in Survivor because a lot of the challenges are water challenges. So they were great at swimming. Um, and and then uh, because one partner goes first, your order, whether you pull out first or second, it does depend a lot on the first person that goes. And so um, Michelle going first, she kind of did a good pace for Jay to go second. Um, and, but then we have a surprise with, well, not really a surprise because Anissa came back and she came back in kind of fourth place, but Jordan is amazing and was able to literally bring them from fourth place to second. They were right behind, uh, Jay and Michelle for most of the challenge after, uh, um, Jordan was able to step in. Yeah, that was that, uh, it was like that for a lot of, uh, throughout this whole challenge. Yeah, it was just a lot. They were swimming yeah. in the wrong direction. They weren't. Actually, they don't know how to row boats. Yeah, they. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a good challenge. It was different elements, but it wasn't too complicated. It, it, I, it was clear, concise. I, I really like. I really like this challenge. Um, but the first heat, um, like I said, it was neck and neck between. And again, let me mention how amazing Jordan is. He was able to figure out how to row this boat. Can we stop doing that to Jordan, please? Can we? I think please? it should have been like some some uh, accommodations made, but. I mean, I know he doesn't complain, but can y'all give him like a rope or something that he can yeah, even tie his wrist around? Yeah, because yeah. like, or just make it so that you don't have to rotate partners. Because I feel like they, uh, apparently they had to rotate. Like once, yeah, together, everybody to had to do course. every part yeah. of the challenge. So everybody it? had to swim. Everybody had to row. So yeah. it, I mean, Which I get cool. it. But I get but it. Time, it's fine, but it's just like if Jordan has an actual left hand. Yeah. They win. Like, you're not stopping him. Um, Tori and Devin pulled out the win on that one. So it was Tori and Devin versus Jay and Michelle. And Jay and Michelle came out with a better time. So they are the winners. And <laughs> as soon as they announced him as the winners, I was like, okay, let me not. Let me not make no judgments because, you know, I want to have some faith. And when they go straight to deliberation, it was literally <laughs> from start to finish up. Uh, just a wash the whole deliberation um yeah. so this and, is where the math wasn't mathing so yes. jay and michelle decided to pit up kim and colleen mm -hmm. anisa and jordan mm -hmm. because anisa and jordan both said their name they wanted to make a deal with kim and colleen so they threw them in there okay um and then um Rell and veronica then laurel and jack was well, another yeah. shoe in because Michelle didn't feel that um, she could trust Laurel and that Laurel was getting going to get uh, going to get her in some capacity. And then they had the toss up of Darrell and Veronica and Bananas and Nani. And was, Jay, Jay said, "Let's vote in Bananas and Nani's because this is what they did to us. Yes, this is what they keep yes. doing it to me." And I can't trust bananas. And he should have stuck with that. He don't stick with his stuff. That's why it don't exactly. work ever. <laughs> and then he had the nerves to tell Michelle, you're better at this, so I'm leaving the decision up to you. Don't he say and that? I'm like, I was like, what evidence do you have to support that? <laughs> that just shows how 
paranoia really will mess up your entire game because how do really you right. be in a place where you are so hell bent against somebody who you could have just had a conversation with Laura before you went into the vote? Yeah, like and I said, easily just ironed out the issue. I see how both Veronica and Anissa came into this interrogation and was like, What y'all doing is not how y'all play this game? It, Let me school y'all real quick. It doesn't yeah. make sense. Like, like I would have put it. Veronica was like, Okay, y'all can have numbers, but this is not the way you solidify your numbers right here by throwing in people you are trying to recruit on your side. Like, that doesn't make sense. It's like, dumb. It, it was sense. the most. Ask back. It's like, hey, I want you to be on my side, but I don't want you to go home either. But I'm gonna still throw you in just in case. <laughs> just in case. And oh, he's dude. ruining his own game. Like there's but you, nobody. But you know what I also think Jay themselves. don't have a backbone because every time he's attached to a partner who makes a dumb bold move, yeah, they end up getting him inadvertent. They no one is stupid. Michelle will get him sent home. Watch. I told you, I said this is all hinging on Michelle when we talked about if the rookies could be in an alliance. I was like, Michelle ain't gonna let them do that. And so those are their four their four nominations. So um after they have uh the interrogation talk to each person, um, Laurel and Jack really were like not trying to talk to them at all, which is understandable because like what are we about to talk about? How you betray me? It's not yeah. really talk about. Right. Um and then Michelle, they have a scene where Michelle comes and tries to talk to Laurel and like Laurel, we need to fix this. I didn't do anything. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> broken as far as I do. <laughs> you've already made the decision to throw me in. What are we fixing? Yeah, yeah like what that's, are we fixing? if you had this conversation before the vote and then you threw me in? Okay, now I doubly don't trust you, but you've already thrown me in. You've already burnt the bridge. You yeah. literally burnt the bridge and was like, Hey, look, I know I burnt the bridge, but can you help me like rebuild it? Yeah. Michelle was trying to backpedal and like, oh, I think I made a mistake. Now I just got to go with my gut. It's like, girl, when you was fired up, never steers me wrong, and I was like, does it not? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you're about to go home next episode, damn near. <laughs> yeah. So uh, then, you know, Jack is still playing it cool. Uh, Jack is like, he's gonna talk. He's talking to Jay. You know, making Jay feel comfortable. You know, which is if you try not to be like the main vote is the way to go. But I think the conversation with Laurel is really what made it be like, oh, no, they definitely going in because <laughs> Jay is going to do whatever in this game, whatever Michelle says, because Jack has not given you any reason to be like, oh, for sure, you're the number one. But I think that conversation with Laurel, where Laurel didn't give Michelle any reassurances, made Michelle be like, Jay, they going in for sure. And Jay's <laughs> like, sure, whatever. Because, like, I... I'm not on Team Jay and Michelle anymore. I really he told you. I was, I was been on it in the first place. He don't know how to play the I game. Was, I really wanted him to have a chance. And I think at he, this he point. He started off strong. He started off strong. strong but it's, once again, he's an idiot. Because how do you make the same mistake game. three seasons in a row? So let's go to elimination. So we go to elimination. And as soon as we get in there, it's like these two giant, I don't know, it looks like a big puzzle block. Um, and so TJ calls down all the uh, challengers that will be participating in the elimination. And then he asks Jay and Michelle who they are putting in. And they say this team, you know, has not been like communication is big. We haven't been able to communicate with them. They uh, won't communicate with us, but blah, 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 who it was. And they throw in Jack and Laurel, which was like, okay, so you really said F that friendship, Jay. <laughs> he was like, oh, he's no friend. <laughs> That was the worst reason. I just say, look, this is a strong team, and we got to get rid of a strong team. Stop with the these half ass excuses for throwing people in the communication, sweetie Michelle. That was you who couldn't communicate. Throw <laughs> in, uh, like we said, Jack and Laurel, um, and so now the other three teams have to pull the uh, pull the uh, sword or knife. Um, but I knew who was going to get it because, again, the storytelling earlier has said um, Veronica was like, Veronica and Darrell had a conversation. Maybe we should start playing with these rookies or other teams that are being thrown in because then we know that we can, me and that other team can save each other. And Anissa and the vets have never reassured us. So maybe we shouldn't play like we usually do. We should try something new. And I was like, okay, so they're going to pull the safe knife. <laughs> so, um, uh, who pull, who pulled first? Uh, Colleen and Kim pull first, and they get a blank dagger. And then Jordan and Anissa pull, they get a blank dagger. So now we know um, after uh, Darrell and Darrell and Veronica pull, they get the 
safe dagger. Um, and you know, Veronica gives a speech that I think if you're not gonna do it, don't give it. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. that I, speech I was also her. pointless. It's that like you gonna crazy. you gonna throw in your friend of 20 plus years. You 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 having to question your friend of 20 years. But I'm some, like, I think she just wanted the moment. But even if you were going, if you go question, even if you're gonna go against your friend of 20 years, then do it. Now you got your friend like Damn, I was, I was supposed to I was supposed to say something. I yeah, thought like, this was the thing. I thought we yeah. knew. Okay, but let's get to the actual elimination. Um, so with this elimination, it's a basically it's a giant huh? It's a climbing wall. Yeah, it's a climbing wall, but it's like mm-hmm. a memory wall. So one person is on one side of the wall, one person on one side of the wall, and they have to yell out the pieces uh in the order that each color and symbol is so that a person the person on the other side can match it up and create a smaller version of the of the of the puzzle um and i i like this elimination i liked it but towards the end it got really frustrating because i was confused about what kim and colleen was doing i think i think it would have been better i think we just spoke german honestly i feel like they were trying to um translate and like process the english terms for it which was stopping them because they didn't like she live. I don't think she was explain like she couldn't explain like what the picture was or like what it really was. Or, yeah, you, know. they, you had an advantage by speaking in German, but you yeah. didn't use it. So it was pretty close. It wasn't seemed like nobody was really ahead of the other. But when it came down to the wire, um, and Laurel, I think Laurel and Jack had it except for the first two pieces, but they decided to just go ahead and try to recreate their whole board. Um, when I think it was just one piece or two pieces that was messed up when she dropped it. Um, Which is crazy how she literally yelled, check it in. Next thing you know, boom. But only two pieces fell, so she didn't know which side to put the piece on. I'm going to just be like, check, check, check. You know, like, I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I it also ended up not piece. being those two pieces. It ended up being like the bottom corner pieces somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, okay. So they would okay. probably got wrong anyway and went. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I mean, yeah, it, was, so, it was a cute elimination though. Yeah, I like I liked it, but Kim and Colleen towards the end, it seemed like they they had one piece that they needed to fix, but Colleen maybe I'm sorry, Kim couldn't hear her. It seemed yeah. like, and he kept asking her to repeat what she was saying, repeat what she said, but it was no urgency in the, what he was doing. <laughs> what we see. Um, but um, at the last moment, uh, Laurel and Jack pulled off the win, and so they are back in the house. Um, Jay has. Is. Two less allies or one less ally. And, you know. <laughs> well, my go to are Horatio and uh, Horacio and Olivia and Tori and Devin. Tori and Devin. Yeah, those, those are the only two I, teams I can see I'm winning sure. right now. Yeah, me too. Same. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, but that is the end of this episode. Um, that's our review and recap. Uh, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell us what you thought of the episode. And we will see you on our next video. Peace.